Welcome everybody, this is John Burr from MammothInteractive.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a little bit about how to make a game from scratch in Construct 2, a little bit about prototyping your game, and a little bit about uh, platforms, uh, 2D platform games in Construct 2. Now, first things first, Construct 2 is a game making program where you don't actually have to code. And what I mean by code is you don't have to type out anything uh, into code, but what you do have to do is put in the logic. Now I've been making games since uh, 1997, and uh, and I was taking and I was even programming a little bit before that uh, in QBasic, if any of you remember that. Uh, and I've even released an Xbox 360 game and iOS games, etc. And I have to say, uh, Construct 2 is probably the easiest way to make a game. Uh, it is so incredibly simple, and it is way better than pretty much almost every other environment that I've ever seen. Now the one thing about Construct 2 is that you can pretty much make 2D games in it. So that means that you have images and you manipulate those images with code, uh, images and animations, etc. This is of course different from 3D games uh, where um, you have uh, you have shapes and, and polygons uh, within a 3D environment. So in any event, uh, Construct 2, if you want to make a 2D game, Construct 2 is probably one of the best choices. Uh, it exports to a number of different places and sometimes uh, the exports work out really well and then sometimes uh, because everything is in HTML5, sometimes you might end up with a little bit of problems, but nevertheless I like using Construct 2 exclusively uh, if I'm making a 2D game. In fact, I, I generally tend to stay away from other uh, game engines now just because it's so easy. All right, so let's get started here. So the first things first is we need to start uh, adding in our game here and we need to go to file and then we need to go to new, okay? And then you can come up with this um, and come with this dialog box here and you'll see that there are a ton of different options here. What we're going to be doing is we're just going to be uh, making our new uh, uh, empty project like this and we're just going to go and double click on that okay and as you can see we have our uh, we have our little uh, game here and uh, you might be thinking uh, this uh, window is a little bit small but the thing is is that I make my videos so that anyone can view them so if you can imagine people viewing this on a small iPhone uh, it would still try and make sense for that all right, so it might be a little bit big if you're viewing this on a big screen, but uh, nevertheless, uh, I try to make it viewable for everyone to see. Okay, so now that we have uh, this here, what we are going to do is we are just going to, um, this gray box here is where um, is where our game uh, logic will be. All right, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click here, and double clicking brings up a new object here. Now, uh, when it comes to game development, and it doesn't matter what uh, environment you're in, in. Essentially, it is very object-oriented, meaning that you take objects and you manipulate those objects with code, but in this case, in Construct 2's non-coding language uh, and uh, program, uh, we just manipulate them with logic. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a sprite, and we're just going to go and click on this here, and you can see that a whole bunch of options come up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this, and I'm going to make this um, 50 by 50, okay? And I'm going to make this uh, a player, and I'm going to click on this color palette here. And if you don't see this, you can just click the paint can, and you can click green here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and close this here, and here we have our nice little player. And I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm just going to uh, rename it player. Now, if you take anything away from this tutorial, is to name your sprites accordingly. Uh, the reason is is that you know once you're into uh, game development and you're in the final hour and your uh, your name is something like this, you won't know what's going on. So uh, name everything uh, appropriately and uh, you'll save some time, okay? So now that we have our little um, I mean, now that we have a little player here, what we're going to do is we're going to also add another sprite, and we're just going to add in a simple ground here, okay? Now, for the most part, I'm not going to change the size of this, and I'm going to show you why in just a second. Now, one thing I like to do is I never like to use fully black or fully white. What I like to use is I like to use off black and off white. And if you've taken any of my tutorials at mammothinteractive.com, and by the way, I have a huge Construct 2 32-hour uh, tutorial there, and you can go check it out at mammothinteractive.com, uh, you can just go ahead and click uh, this here and um and you can see that, that it works here. Now, you're probably wondering why am I not resizing this? Well, I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna call this the ground. Okay. And there we go. I'm just going to call this the ground, and I'm going to go and I'm going to resize it here. Now, one thing that I like to do is I like to use uh, silhouettes with my games, and the reason why I like to do that here is simply because um, 
simply because you can go ahead and you can resize this to whatever you want want it to, right? And um, and and you see that that works out uh, quite well. Um, because if you were to have, let's say, some pre-made art for this, when you'd stretch it, it would kind of, it would stretch and distort. So anytime you can use a silhouette, it's it's better. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to just uh, click click this right here, and you can see that uh, it will go and um, it will go and uh, pass the window here. Because remember, this gray box is if we were to run the game right now, we would actually see this gray box here. Now, uh, you can see here that we have uh, this right here our player and we can put our player on the ground just like that okay and there we go it's pretty simple and what we're also going to do um, is we are going to uh, run this right now so if I go ahead and push run layout uh, and I'll have to move this here just because um, just because I have a dual monitor set up and it's just taking a little bit of time to load but you can see here that this is indeed the game here okay and you see that nothing is going on and that makes perfect sense because we really haven't told it to do anything okay so the first things first um, what, we get, what we're going to do in the next tutorial is we're going to add in all the logic alright so the next tutorial is just in uh, in the feed here and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial